Hey there gamers, Mark the Lone Gamer here. And we are back in Kingdom Come Deliverance with our hero Henry, the blacksmith's son. And we last we saw Henry last episode, he had finally made it to his lord, Lord uh, Radzik, and he has explained uh, what has happened thus far. And he has promised that uh, he will do all that he can to recover the stolen sword that his father forged for, for him. And to this end, we have been taken into Lord Radzig's service. We are now going to be trained in the fine arts of combat by this person, Captain Bernard, I think. Uh, might be mistaken. Yes, Captain Bernard. So we are currently heading for what I assume to be the training area. We're going through the town of Rate. Yes. This woman is in our way. Anyway, yes, he is. He is taking his time. So let's go on ahead. I think we know where it is. We can follow. We can follow the marker on the compass. Anyway, yes, we are here in Rate, which is a much larger town than Scalitz was, our hometown, which was really just a small village with a castle. But Rate is a lot larger. And from what I've gathered, there are at least two or three castles in this area. Apparently, Lord Ratzig is now uh, residing in one of the castles here. He has been allowed to take uh, possession of a castle along with his men. Uh, and uh, apparently the lord who owns it, uh, Lord Hans, a young lord, has another castle at the other end of town. And aside from that, th there's another, there's surely another castle for the actual lord of the place, Lord Hanush. So it's all very Games of Thronesy, and but even so, these guys are must be pretty rich to have three castles in one town. And there we are seeing floating trees. Anyway, this is a this is a really large town, and I think one of the things that I am really liking uh, about this game's visuals is the scale. These castles are huge. It's nowhere. Uh, near the scale of something like Skyrim, I think Dragon's Reach is probably it's supposed to, Dragon's Reach in White Run is supposed to be this large palace or at least a very rich fortress. But I think the entirety of White Run is only as large as Scalitz, as the opening village in this game. This place, this this uh, place, Rate, is huge. Hey there, nice hat. And I really like the scale. I think this is the real scale. This is actually how large, how epic this place is. And if we can actually go everywhere where we can see, there is going to be a lot of walking in this game. So we hopefully will get ourselves a horse eventually because, uh, well, okay, finally we're here. We have discovered the combat arena and there's some stuff here. I'm pretty sure they'll give us a sword to use. 
there's a shield here which can, we can actually see steal but we won't do that we have some pop in hmm all right all right all right all right all right, all right. Oop, is that food anyway let's get to training My respects to you. Yeah, basic training. I'm here for training. Oh. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik said. Yes, that's me. Let's yes. get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Well, actually, we have held a sword. We have had a bit of training. Very basics, at least. And we actually have killed people. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine. We'll try something more advanced, then. All right. All right. Very well, then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. All right. Ah! Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> oh. Right. All right, this guy is kicking our ass. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, wait, stop that. Stop it. Alright, let's... Alright. Let's attack. Let's uh, show what we have learned. Oh, he is... That is a lot of stuff. Alright. Fine, enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Mm. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. I'm holding the sword raised up. Do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Right. <laughs> Right, lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. Boop knocks the blade aside. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Okay. Again. Again. Not bad. Try and catch the rhythm. You see right. the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. Try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. All right. Good. 
So you, we only have to tap. Very good, very good. We are doing fine. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzik's esteemed guest. Not mm. the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzik's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. <laughs> Is he really trying to be a ass or yeah. what? Leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right. Let's go. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. We'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. All right. All right. Well done. All right, right, right. Nice. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never right. take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see right. a strike before it's even properly started. All right. All right. All right. Well done. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Oh, right. cool. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. All right. Yeah. Well done. Ugh. Not like that. Sorry. Ugh. Ugh. Good. Too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. Awesome. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. All right. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. All right. So now we're gonna learn archery. Fortunately, it seems as we're going to meet up with that ass young lord, but well. Hmm. Alright. I wonder if this training actually has an effect. I mean, aside from training us actually using the the commands and the joystick or the the directionals i wonder if as a character i think uh henry will actually improve i hope that i think that's the way it is i mean it can't just be simple 
button pushes. I think uh, stats wise we're going to improve and hopefully it will show when we actually get into a fight next time. And I do intend that uh, Henry here is going to be a very combat heavy character for this for this playthrough at least. I want him to be a warrior. Maybe even lots of heavy armor. We want him to be kick-ass. So when we meet up with that uh, bandit, with Jason Statham of middle-aged Bohemia, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna we're gonna kick his. Ass. Uh oh yes, here he is, the young lord. Why do I feel like? Bastard trying to trying to impress the Starks. Alright. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there. And we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks. Get in position. Ah, he likes us. Oh, ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got so. two bandits coming at you from a distance. Shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. Sorry. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if wow. you're about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. Arrow aiming at the target, flying. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you train a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. All right. So let's see. Oh, come on. The girl have to save your arm. Maybe the fellow's short-sighted. Come on. Oh well. Well, that was awful. <laughs> I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Savannah. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Uh. Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Alright, um... Yeah. We had no control over that. firing arrows I think we're actually doing much better doing a lot better well congratulations sir Hans nicely shot thank you Bernard it seems I get to keep the bow 
So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. What? All right. Oh, so we have to fight I'm him. Right? Enjoy this. Go. Cut. I love you. All right. Kurva. Oh. All right, there uh, we beat them. Well, we're even then. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. <laughs> I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. Godspeed, blacksmith. And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. You know, I think this guy is going to be good friends with us. <laughs> um, well, yes. Let's see, are we done? Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. Really? Uh... All right. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Yeah, now go to the roundhouse. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. You know, that was really uh, kind of uh, surprising, but I guess uh, in terms of sword fighting where we're not really good at archery i really don't know how we could have done better because uh, i mean we didn't have a crosshair and if we did it would have been a lot easier to measure where the arrow would go so i guess maybe maybe a crosshair will appear once we're a lot more trained Anyway, so where is the bailiff? Are he still walking around? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He doesn't seem to be too bad. And he's the other lord. Yes, sir. That was Sir Hanish. He was the actual lord here. Hmm, all right, so where is the bailiff? So I think we're going to become a guard, I guess. As long as they give us armor and a decent weapon, I think that'll be good. I wonder, though, if it'll limit where we go. But we'll see. Bailiff. I think we did pretty well for ourselves. I, I, I think I'm getting the hang of sword fighting and that's definitely going to be our strength at least. Archery, I don't know, but yeah, it, it will definitely be useful. There's someone giving alms. That's really, that's a nice touch. Is this... this uh what's this taylor this is taylor describe all right we are getting lost so many is is the person moving is is it, are we looking for an actual person who is moving Are you the bailiff? Hello? No. Where is this person? I guess, he, is he in... 
It's, is it you? Hello? No, it's not. It, is it you? Carrots that'll make you and your family happy. Onions that'll make you cry. Ah, all right then. You all know what happened there. See here. Fresh bread. I'm pulling off top of it. Here. Is it here? You're in a private area. Sorry. Is this a private area? <sighs> we have no idea who, where this person is. Right, this is a forge. Dead end. Anything we can get here? Ooh, helmets and armor. Can we open this? Hmm. All right, what's inside here? We don't need to rob this place, come on. Where is... Maybe he's over there? This is a quest on its own. Um, Port to the bailiff. Alright, so he's probably over here. Nest. You know what? That's something I may have noticed. There are no kids. There are no children. Is that a thing? But then again, well, I guess uh, they didn't want to have to animate or have little people running around. Understandable. Kids are a bit irritating, even. Are you. Be a bit more careful. Are you the bailiff? No, you're not. Yes, sorry. I bumped into you. I've come from Skellix, and all I ask of you is a crust of bread. Crust. Where? Is he here? It's a blacksmith. Could the... B Maybe... Is he at the door? But he's not here. Alright, he's somewhere over there. Right, this is one of the harder things. Find actually finding people is turning out to be very hard. Are you the bailiff? No. He's most probably an officer. Is it you? So he's here in this area. Where are you? Apothecary, no. So maybe he is here. Alright, um. No. This does not look like a place where you'd find a bailiff. Or is it? This looks like a textile trader.
Looks like he's moving, but he's not. Are you the bailiff? Where else can we find him? Is it here? Are you the bailiff? Armorsmith. Artisan. So it's not here. Is it here? You're in a private area. Where is the belly? Mm, uh, and we can't even ask anyone. Are you the bailiff? No. Right, how about here? It looks like this is like a... Alright. All right, this looks promising. Are you the bailiff? Yes, finally. God be with you. Um, yes. You can teach me to read? Well, let's, let's, let's join him first. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Hmm. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Taylor. Awesome. Now, can he teach me to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He can teach you. All right. Should we ask this? Why not? Master Baylor? Is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. All right. Uh, let's ask about the town. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanush is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. <laughs> so at least the bailiff is an honest person. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes and the countryside ain't safe, but they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers, and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. Hmm... Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that, but them barbarians take pleasure in it. All right. That's about it. Okay, but before we leave, I need to get a look at your face. So you don't... Don't have a beard. Just have to remember you. Anyway. So, we are now part of the Rate Town Watch. 
Hey, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. And, uh, well. So we have to go get our uniform. And then we have to report to work. Between 11 and 1900. And it's... Hmm... You know what? I think we've already missed it. So I think we're going to do something else. Okay, since we kind of probably missed today's uh, shift with the town watch, I think we're going to go and do the rest of the other side quest. Alright, so... I think so. Where are we need to go? All right. So I think we just need to follow this road. Uh, where is that other place? Kol Kolnitz? Where the other miller is supposed to be? I don't think it's that far away. It just kind of looks far. Just have to follow. Um, just have to follow the map. All right. I think we're on the right track. All right, and then and also we can do a little bit of exploration. At least we have been doing some progress. What is that green? The green one is the scribe, so that's how we can learn to read. The red icon is for the miller. I think we need to finish the miller's quest by delivering the ring. If we want to have a fence. Who are you? Who are you? A mercenary. Do we go here? I think we can go here. Just need to follow. I wonder if you can hire that mercenary and he'll follow you. I'm pretty sure you can't really order around companions. But I think that I've seen videos where you're part of a group uh, or you, you're joining an assault. I think there, there are supposed to be sieges of castles in this game. And that's going to be awesome. Um, should we follow the road or let's cut through this field? And uh, I think uh, they, they can afford to have lots of NPCs on the field because you're not controlling any of them. So they're all basically their own character. So you're joining a small army. You're, you'll be along for the ride. I can't wait for that. Should be cool. But of course, before that happens, we're going to have to be a lot stronger. We have to have pretty good equipment. and weapons. I think uh, the sword that uh, 
Henry's father forge was a pretty good weapon. I mean, we could cut down a bandit with a couple of swipes, but then probably not really a big effort. But right now we are really nothing. Okay. Is this it? The icon is over there. I think that is our mill. And we cross this. Let's cross with the sand flats or whatever do you call these things. I think, yeah. Yep, I think that's the mill. The colon, it's mill, whatever. I think the important thing is we finish this. I think we'll be getting a fence, and that will be awesome. Even if we don't really become an actual, it's raining, a uh, thief. Okay. You're not the miller, you're the. Probably his wife. So where is the miller? Is this a private area? No, he's not here. Where is the miller? Woman, you will tell us what we want to know. Where, where is the miller? Ah, there you are. Hello, Miller Wojcik. My respects to you. Yes, if you really respect us that much, you could actually face us, but whatever. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking wolf. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, of testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. All right. But the most important thing is, can we sell you stolen goods? What am I to do with these things I kill for? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. All right. Hmm. So let's ask what this additional jobs are for. Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robard of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the Guard? Sir Robard? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg Armory and steal a few Waffen Rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five Waffen Rocks to make it a proper stink. You know what? 
We owe the guards of Tomberg. Please not. We won't do this right now, all right? I think I'll pass on this one. Pity. But let me know if you change your mind. All right. All right. But at least for now we can fence. I'm pretty sure we can fence from Miller Peshek at the the Rate Mill. So let's Ah, so the fog of war is gone. Good, 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 good. So let's go back to the mill. It's fast travel. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Alright, anyway. So yeah. We should sell these things tomorrow. Sell all the stolen stuff. Why is there no stolen thing here? This is our stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Let's take all our stolen stuff tomorrow and we'll sell. Hey, Theresa. We'll sell the stuff to Peshek tomorrow. Then go off for our first day as a member of the Town Watch. Which has to be one of the bigger ironies. In any case, we'll just have dinner and a nice little nap, well, a good night's rest, and then we'll call it a day. This has been Mark the Lone Gamer, and we'll be back to continue the adventures of Henry, part-time thief, full-time man of honor, in Kingdom Come Deliverance.